Welcome again to Rough Diamond Recipes. Today's recipe is Brie and Bacon Quiche. The full list of ingredients can be found in the description box below. We're making two quiches today because my daughter was coming around and we wanted to give her one to take home. It's just as well we cook two and not one. If you follow the end of the video you'll find out why. First we make the pastry. Put all the pastry ingredients into a food processor and blitz together. When this is done, add a splash of water, tablespoon at a time, till the dough comes together in the bowl, as you see here. Then tip the pastry onto a floured surface, pat into a round bowl, cover with cling film or cling wrap, and place in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes. When the 30 minutes is up, remove from the fridge, and divide in two. Just remember we're making two quiches and not one. Then take one of the pieces and on a well floured surface roll out the desired size. Alright, alright, I'll tell them. Apparently I have to tell you we're using nine inch flan dishes for these quiches. When the pastry has been cut to the desired size, place over the flan dish and gently but firmly push the pastry into the side, as you see here. Trim off the excess pastry from around the edges, but leave a generous overhang because this pastry shrinks when you blind bake it. When this is done, use a fork to prick the bottom of the pastry so there's no steam builds up when it hits the oven. Then line with a bit of greaseproof paper and put a layer of baking beans or dried rice in the bottom. Then it's off to a preheated 180 degrees C oven for 15 minutes. And of course, when preheating your oven, make sure anything plastic is removed first, not like we did. When the 15 minutes are up, remove the flan dish from the oven, remove the greaseproof paper and baking beans, and put back in the oven for a further 5 minutes. It's one blank baked quiche base. Next, we turn our attention to the quiche filling. And to do this, simply combine the cream, milk, eggs, salt and pepper, corn flour in a suitably sized jug and whisk together thoroughly. Then you're ready to assemble the quiches. And to do this simply spread a layer of the bacon pieces across the bottom of the quiche base followed by bits of the brie broken up into little pieces. When this is done simply put half the egg and cream mixture over the top of the bacon and brie. Just remember we're making two quiches here, so only half the mixture. Use the other half on the other quiche. Then reduce the oven to 160 degrees C. Put the quiches back in for 30 to 40 minutes until the egg mixture is set. And there you have it, two brie and bacon quiches. And if you want to hang around to see what really happened while taking the photographs, feel free. Just as I said, lucky we made two quiches instead of one quiche. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this recipe. Feel free to subscribe, share and like. And maybe we'll see you soon in the next one.